Would you know my name? <laughs> so, I, so I get the flyer. It's got the dead fetus on the front. On the back of the thing, it's got the whole pro-life propaganda screed. At the bottom, the guy who prints these things for a living, for fun or profit, or whatever his motivation is, he puts his name and phone number at the bottom in case you want to order more. <laughs> and I'm drunk with a phone. <laughs> and the guy answers his phone. It's not even, it's not even a business. There's no, it's a dude in rural Wisconsin answering his phone in the bedroom. Hello? And I want to fuck with him, but I want to be original. You don't want to just be drunk and trying to throw logic at this problem. You're just going to waste cell phone minutes. That's like trying to kick water uphill. You ain't going to win. <laughs> so what I did is I came at him, and I attacked him from the more conservative angle, where I accused him of being the worst type of child pornographer on this planet. <laughs> this is... I can't believe what I'm looking at, sir. This is a child in this photograph. That's not a choice, that's a child. And for you to distribute photographs of naked children around my neighborhood, you're attracting the most deviant type of child predator on this planet. Right now, Preterm necrophiliac child molesters are masturbating like frenzied apes in cages to your handiwork, sir. Don't you do to do, 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 do me. You knew what you were doing. You could have photoshopped a bikini onto that little baby. You could have airbrushed a tasteful one piece but you chose not to, because this is how you get your rocks off, and I hope you burn it out. Next. <laughs>